What's up everybody? Uh, I'm out here at Deer Valley Airport. This is my hangar. Um, I've got four jet skis in here. Uh, two that I'm working on. The black one is totally um, ready to be sold. I just haven't put it up for sale yet. Um, I just posted a video of fixing the brakes on my car. So now we're going to actually post a video about fixing um, a part on this jet ski. Uh, it started sinking at Lake Pleasant. Sorry about all the noise, there's an airplane taking off, but um, it started sinking at Lake Pleasant um, about two weeks ago. And I know why it started sinking, um, so we're gonna fix it. It's uh, part of the VTS trim system. The boot um, got brittle and broke. And so we're gonna try to fix that. I got the parts ready and I'm gonna try to um, put it back or fix it so we'll see how how easy it is to do so if you look down here this this rod snapped looks like it just snapped from corrosion so I've got a new rod um, trim rod to put on here and also there's a the VTS boot right here if you look you can kind of see it there's a there's a gap in it actually, like where it's ripped. It actually totally ripped. And because of that water um, got inside the, the hole of the jet ski and it started sinking. It took a while to sink um, or to fill up, but uh, we were eating lunch at a restaurant at the dock. And when we came back, half of the jet ski went underwater when my friend sat on it. So that is gonna be fixed today. Let's see if there's a better view. So yeah, we're gonna unbolt this piece and we're gonna unbolt this piece, get that off. And then we're gonna slide the old VTS boot right here out, put the new one on, and then we're gonna put the new rod on. The parts. Or right here, here's the new boot. Uh, there's also clamps in here. Let's see. And there's also, ah, here you go. Here's a new rod. So there's the rod and there's the boot. Um, yep, it's a, so it's a 10 millimeter on one side and it's also a 10 millimeter on the other side, but I don't have uh, two, so I'm just holding it with pliers to get it off. I actually should be able just to slide it off of my fingers now. So let's see if I can. So here is the new rod. Um, we're actually gonna use one of the old uh, washers for it. And all I gotta do is hook it here and hook it here. But before I do that, I need to pull the old boot off and put the new one on. So that way it seals it. Um, so no more water can get into the hole through this. And the back clamp, it was, a, it was hard to get on. I actually stuck a screwdriver inside the boot and kind of like put, moved it up around the lip up there until it was all the way on it. Um, that way it, uh, it, I, that was the only way I could get it on. I couldn't get it on any other way. So now um, I'm gonna put the clamp on in the front. And then after I put the clamp on in the front, I will connect the bar from here to here and it'll be as good as new. All right. So now there's the next clamp. We're gonna use pliers like this. And we're literally just going to squeeze that clamp shut nice and slowly. We got it some of the way.
Let me see if I can get it the rest of the way. All right, sorry I had to stop the video, but I got both clamps on now. Um, we're gonna use these. We're gonna try them out instead of the regular hose clamps, just see how they hold. I'm gonna, next time I run it, I'll check and see if they're still there. If they're not, then I'll uh, obviously put, you know, the old hose clamps back on. Um, but usually I don't run this jet ski too hard, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, now we're gonna connect the rod from here to here. And uh, then the job should be complete. So I actually came back to finish this video. I fixed the um, VTS trim down here. Um, but what's crazy is I started looking at the engine and the, in the engine wouldn't turn over. So I started looking at it. I pulled the spark plugs. Um, and I think the engine is seized. Also, there are three bolts missing on this exhaust. I tightened the one that's still left down, but there are literally three of the four bolts missing. And I think what happened was, I think the water came in through this tube, came in here and spewed out all into the body of the jet ski. I think that's how the sinking issue came about.